In a groundbreaking mission that marks a significant step in global satellite navigation, SpaceX has partnered with the European Commission to launch Galileo satellites, enhancing the capabilities of Europe's counterpart to the US GPS system. This collaboration is not just a testament to SpaceX's prowess in space logistics, but also highlights a strategic shift in Europe's approach to maintaining and expanding its navigational independence. Today, we delve into the intricacies of this partnership, exploring how it came to be, what it entails, and the future it promises for global navigation. Stay tuned as we uncover the impact of this pivotal mission in the broader context of international space collaboration and technological advancement. The Galileo system represents a monumental step in Europe's quest to establish an independent global navigation satellite system, GNSS, a move that defines its strategic autonomy in global satellite navigation. Initially launched to reduce Europe's dependence on the American GPS system and the Russian GLONASS, Galileo offers a range of services including highly precise public services, search and rescue operations, and government communications, which are crucial during national emergencies. Understanding the significance of Galileo starts with its advanced technical capabilities. The system is designed to provide extremely accurate location and time information across the world, with a precision up to 10 times better than other systems. This precision supports various applications, such as more accurate navigation for drivers, enhanced synchronization for banking operations, and improved timing for electricity grids. However, the journey of Galileo has been fraught with challenges, including delays, budget overruns, and political disagreements among EU member states. Yet, the most pressing challenges emerged from external dependencies for launching its satellites. Historically, Galileo satellites were launched using Ariane 5 rockets and occasionally Soyuz vehicles, from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. But with the retirement of Ariane 5 and geopolitical tensions with Russia, affecting the use of Soyuz, Europe faced a dilemma. The decision to use SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets came as a strategic pivot. This collaboration not only resolved immediate logistical challenges, but also highlighted a shift in Europe's approach to space access. By choosing SpaceX, it was the 20th launch for this Falcon 9's first stage, according to a SpaceX mission description. That tied a mark set earlier this month by a different Falcon 9 booster on a launch of SpaceX's Starlink Internet satellites. The European Space Agency, ESA, leveraged a reliable and cost-effective launch solution, ensuring the continuity of the Galileo program amidst uncertainties. This move also demonstrated Europe's pragmatic approach to global cooperation in space technology, reflecting a mature and adaptive space strategy that prioritizes mission success over geopolitical rivalries. SpaceX's involvement in launching Galileo's satellites is not just a service agreement, but a significant endorsement of the commercial space sector's capabilities by one of the most historically significant space programs in the world. The use of Falcon 9 rockets for launching important payloads like Galileo satellites underscores the shift towards more flexible, cost-effective space missions, leveraging commercial advancements for governmental and intergovernmental projects. The Falcon 9 rocket, known for its reusability and reliability, represents a paradigm shift in how payloads are sent to space. Its design allows for parts of the rocket to be reused for multiple flights, a factor that significantly reduces the cost of access to space. For the Galileo mission, this meant not only a reliable launch option, but also a potentially more frequent and cost-effective schedule for sending satellites into orbit, ensuring the robustness and resilience of the Galileo network. SpaceX's approach to space launches has catalyzed a competitive environment in the space industry, pushing other companies and countries to innovate and reduce costs. This environment fosters a more diverse and accessible space sector, 
encouraging more players to participate in orbital activities and satellite deployments. For Europe, choosing SpaceX as a launch partner not only addresses immediate logistical needs, but also aligns with broader strategic goals to foster a competitive and innovative industrial base in the space sector. Moreover, this collaboration between SpaceX and the European Commission could serve as a blueprint for future cooperative efforts between governmental and commercial space entities. It highlights the potential for commercial space firms to support and complement national and continental aspirations in space, facilitating a more interconnected and cooperative global space industry. The Galileo satellites reside in medium Earth orbit, 14,430 miles, 23,222 kilometers, above our planet, which means there was no rocket stage landing tonight, a rarity these days for a SpaceX flight. The successful launch of Galileo satellites aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket marks a significant milestone, not just for Europe or SpaceX, but for the global community relying on advanced GNSS for everything from navigation to scientific research. This mission paves the way for enhanced capabilities of the Galileo system, ensuring that Europe remains at the forefront of GNSS technology and services. The future trajectory of satellite navigation systems like Galileo involves not only expanding the constellation to improve coverage and resilience, but also integrating new technologies that could revolutionize how GNSS services are used. Innovations such as more robust anti-jamming capabilities, integration with other satellite constellations for improved accuracy, and the development of new services tailored to commercial and scientific needs are on the horizon. Moreover, the involvement of commercial entities like SpaceX and public space missions opens up new avenues for collaboration and innovation. It encourages a more market-driven approach to satellite launches, where competition and collaboration drive down costs and spur technological advancements. This dynamic can lead to faster deployment of Satellite Constell. The successful launch of Galileo satellites aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket marks a significant milestone, not just for Europe or SpaceX, but for the global community, relying on advanced GNSS for everything from navigation to scientific research. This mission paves the way for enhanced capabilities of the Galileo system, ensuring that Europe remains at the forefront of GNSS technology and services. The future trajectory of satellite navigation systems like Galileo involves not only expanding the constellation to improve coverage and resilience, but also integrating new technologies that could revolutionize how GNSS services are used. Innovations such as more robust anti-jamming capabilities, integration with other satellite constellations for improved accuracy, and the development of new services tailored to commercial and scientific needs are on the horizon. Thank you for joining us on this exploratory journey into the groundbreaking collaboration between SpaceX and the European Commission for the Galileo satellite launches. Today, we've navigated through the strategic nuances of this partnership, exploring its implications for global navigation systems and the broader aerospace industry. This venture is more than just a mission, it's a pivotal moment that underscores the synergy between commercial spaceflight and governmental space initiatives. As we continue to watch the skies, let's stay curious and excited about the future of space exploration. Your engagement drives our passion to uncover and share these cosmic stories. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more insights into the ever-expanding universe of space technology. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning beyond.